Hello, hello, and welcome to my newest football manager series. We're going to play with uh, Inter Milan, which, funnily enough, is one of the teams I hate the most in real life, considering that I, I like the rivals, AC Milan. However, uh, it should be fun. They have a pretty good team, and in real life, are not doing as 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 bad as they, as they should. But, uh, what I want to do in this series is actually manage to win the Champions League, the Serie A, I mean any any competition and trophy that they can win, like uh, the series I did for uh, for AC Milan. So yeah, Inter Milan has have today confirmed the appointment of Donny Lafsalot as the club's new head coach. I browse say yeah, of course. Who cares? We're gonna do amazing. And they have won a lot, three Champions League titles, they got a FIFA World Cup, a lot of Serie A titles, they won the Europa League three times, Coppa Italia, who cares, it's Inter, rather they have, have not won anything. Okay, so we have a pretty good team, yeah in real life they are playing this kind of formation, I think Brozovic plays in the center. That's not sensi. Uh, Godin, Devry, Skriniar. Godin is a player I actually like a lot. Asamo on the left side, Dombrozzi on the right. Uh, Barella, Sensi, Brozovic, and Lautaro Martinez, which is actually one of the best players. And in a couple of years, he could become like a world class striker. And Lukaku, of course. Who doesn't know Lukaku? Very good player. I don't think I'm gonna play with this formation. I'm gonna switch it up a bit, uh, like a four-three-three. Three. I don't like three defender formations. Uh, still, Sensi. Okay, this is weird. So we haven't bought Sensi yet. We just got him on loan, and we have to buy him next season, as far as I can tell. Same for Barella, and Pinamonte has a transfer range for next year. I don't like that. Piramonte is a very good wonder kid. I'd rather keep him, but not much we can do about that. And the rest does not concern us for now. Sign plays under the age of 23. A lot of teams have this club culture. Still, do not sign players of the age of 30. Pretty standard. Let's see how much money do we get. Uh, yeah, schedule press conferences with everyone. And let's see. Yeah, this, this should be fine. I'm pretty excited. I even bought a new microphone. I'm excited to test it. I haven't been uploaded for a while just because the, the microphone I had does not do the job. So let's hope this one is, is good enough. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't care about tactic inductions. Expectations, I know that. Transferring in progress. So, I uh, delict transfer from Ajax to Juventus. Juventus do have a lot of money. Maybe I should have tried a game with Juventus. That would be a bit too easy, I'm guessing. Not that Inter is hard, but it's a bit harder than Juventus. I want to skip this and I want to accept the current vision. Let's see the squad. Uh, let's set up a just a four-three-three tactic. This is perfect. So, squad. Uh, team report. I meant team report. Okay. So Alexis Sanchez on the left, Paul John on the right, Lukaku, Sensi, Barella, Brozovic. Asamoah, Debris, Skriniar, and Ambrosio. I like this. I would like to find a way to put Lautaro Martinez on the team with this formation. And see who else can we bring. Team Death Chart. So, Perisic is on loan at Bayern München. And they have an optional future fee of 20 million. I don't think they are going to go for it, but... Can we recall him? 
I like very sick. No, you cannot. Sanchez is on loan from us. Do we have an obligation to, to keep him? Not as far as I can see. Nope. And Icardi is on loan at Paris Saint-Germain. And they have an optional future fee of 70 million. Huh. Okay, good for them. Martinez? Yeah, Martinez can play only as a striker. That's kind of a shame. Maybe I can switch formation to play with two strikers. Because I, I want them both to play. Uh, it doesn't matter for now though. We have Kondreva on the right side. Uh, Politano. Lazaro as well, we have Sanchez, I'd rather have a bit of more depth on the left side. Potential ability, well, Palitano is not bad. What about defense? A lot of depth in defense. Skriniard, Godin, De Vries, or Nokia, but they are all good. Bastoni is a really good wonder kid though. I'd rather give him some more playing time, so Nokia may, might leave pretty soon. D'Ambrosio and Lazaro, uh, Asamoa and Biragi, yeah we got good depth, I like that, that's really good for us. I want to check out the uh, skip, I said skip, under 20s, uh, we have Pinamonte which is leaving, yeah, Barbosa, he's at, on loan at Flamengo. And they have no obligation to keep him. He's in the side forward. Maybe next season this guy will help us a bit. However, I was looking for another guy. Jean Mari as well. I mean, I'm telling you, Inter is just a mess. They're a mess. All these loans, all these players that. I don't even know, knew they, they still had them under contract. Under 18, and there he is, Sebastiano Esposito. One of my favorite Italian wonder kids. He's under youth contract. Yeah, they, he's agreed to sign a contract. Okay, then just the day he becomes professional. He's a very good wonder kid. I like this guy a lot. I don't think we'll have a chance to use him though. Still, you never know how many years this game, uh, this run uh, might be. Hmm. I'm just gonna check out which players can we can use with this formation, or maybe even switch it up a bit. And I'll bring you guys back just to tell you which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to, to sell. Uh, see you in a second. And we are back. But uh, this is kind of a mess. I mean, I don't know how the club is doing in, in real life, but uh, they don't have any squad depth whatsoever. And considering they, they play in a lot of competitions, I think we're going to have some issues. Uh... Basically the first team is fine and I just need to bring in some players to cover the wings. Sanchez in the left and Politano on the right should be good enough. Uh, Lautaro Martinez is a sub for Lukaku. And I might bring in a young midfield, midfield player with a good potential ability just to have as a backup option. The defense is not doing that bad and yeah, this is it for the players I'm going to keep and I'm going to look to bring in three more as I said two on the wings one in the midfield uh, these others I'm going to try to sell and as far as money we don't have any that's that's gonna hurt. I don't think this is enough for us to to bring in the players that we want. But let's see. Maybe we can come up with a loan deal or something. 
we'll see. I'm going to go through the transfers and actually try to bring in some... Wait, I don't want any inductions. Go away. We do have a pretty good scouting team. We have the best scouting team in the Serie A. We have the second best uh, physio team. As far as coaching team though, could be improved a lot. So I'm going to bring three more coaches. Uh, with that said, I'm going to see you guys before our first game of the Serie A against, let's see, it's a friendly, that's another friendly, against Fiorentina in August. So, see you then, be right back, and welcome back. I'm ready to show you guys the the transfer that I made, it went actually better than I thought. I honestly thought we, we are going to, to get only one player and that's it. But we, we managed to, to fill all the holes we had. And actually improve the team a bit. So, let me show you what I did. Okay, there we in was here from the start, Lazzaro, Lukaku, Politano. Okay. Uh, I got Berardi from Sassuolo for 14 million euros. I mean, he's not the best inside forward, but he will do, at least for now. It's not bad, he's actually a pretty good player. And he's... Uh, he can grow a little bit more. And actually, in my experience with this game, Berardi plays better than his attributes show. I mean, he always scores, he, he runs a lot. I mean, he's he's a decent player in Italy for your first season. And then I got Chiesa for a potential fee of 85 million. I know I paid a bit... I mean, I, I know I paid a lot for this guy. And actually, I mean, uh, the total fee is 85 million, but we have to pay like 7.5 if we win the Champions League. 7.5 when he scores uh, 20 or 50 goals, whatever it was. So I think we should be fine. Then I got Cristante. I paid a bit more than I should have for this guy, but I just needed a, a deep line playmaker. And this is the best they can afford. He is pretty good. He can grow a little bit more, but he's Italian. He's uh, he's got great vision. I mean, good vision, but he's got a good passing. He's good defensively. I know. I think he's going to be very good for us this season. And now for the players I sold. So, first off, Kandreva, 10 million to Bournemouth. Not much to say. 32 years old, he wasn't going to play. We don't have any position where he can do good, so yeah. Asamoa, 30 years old, went to Manchester United for 20 million. I like this player, but in all honesty, he wasn't going to play much for us, so. Then I sold two goalkeepers. Pirola and I mean Tekic was a goalkeeper. I sent him on loan to Spartak. And Bernie went to Catania for 36k. Then Spal sign uh, signed a young player from us. I mean he's not very good, so I just let him go. And I sold Borja Valero, 34 years old, to Bayern Leverkusen. I mean I was paying him a lot. So I don't think I was going to play this guy, so I just transfer listed him and uh, Leverkusen offered. And that's it for the transfer. As far as stuff goes, I did not manage to sign any. I'm going to, to get to that after this game off camera. And as far as the tactic I'm using, it's the, a pretty, pretty standard gang and press. With a 4-3-3. Uh, Kiesa is going to be our 
left winger. Berard is actually going to be our right winger, but uh, he's suspended for some reason. So Politano is going to come in in his place. Politano is actually a pretty good player. I mean, between him and Berardi uh, in the right wing, we are going to be okay. I'm debating in starting Politano most of the games, just because of his corners and his free kicks. But we'll see. We'll see how, how they play. Then uh, we have in the center midfielder positions, we have Brozovic as a box to box midfielder. I mean, amazing tackling, amazing work rate, great stamina, natural fitness. I mean, this guy is the best box to box midfielder you can find right now. And he's pretty much wanted by, by a lot of teams. I'm going to try to keep him for as much as I can. And I'm going to put actually Barella instead of Sensi. Just because Barella has a bit more room to grow and he's a very consistent performer. And in my experience he grows up to be a bit better than Brozovic. And Cristante, our new signing, he's going to be our deep lying playmaker. In defense, we have D'Ambrosio on the right, right side, Birag on the left, De Vries and Skriniar on the center, and Andanovic will be our sweeper keeper. Uh, actually, I had, hadn't checked Skriniar's stats up until now. It's just phenomenal. I mean, this guy is, is really good. He's a very consistent, relishes in big matches. Basically, no cons for this guy. So, uh, let's get on with the game. Let's hope we do good in our first match against uh, Fiorentina, I think, was it? I think it was Fiorentina. They're playing a 4-3-3, but like a standard one. Oh. Do this for our fans. Let's go. Okay, let me. I want key high. Oh yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so far, not much has happened. Uh, the attack is distributed defensor, very high pressing. A lot of running around. Keza, Brozovic, Borella. Politano and Lukaku should have buried that one. He really should have scored there, but never mind. Brozovic, what can he do? Cristante. Okay, it's a free kick. Maybe Politano can score here. Come on. Uh, close enough. De Vries hit the course bar. Not bad so far. We're creating a lot of chances. I'm happy with that. I mean, so far they haven't had a shot on goal, and we're playing away from home. So I'm happy with that. But this is what I want to see, if we can get the ball back quickly enough, yes we can. Very good tackle by Barella. To Lukaku, and Lukaku scores, but that's offside, I think. Was it offside? I'm guessing not. 1-0 for us. Very nice. However, we are getting a lot of yellow cards. And we shouldn't be. Biragi with a good cross. Ball to Poli Chiesa. Just inches of the left post. Okay, so far so good. 1-0. Do this for the fans. And uh, keep going, guys. We are doing amazing. 13 shots, 6 on target, 62% possession.
Dragovski from the goal kick. Ball to Brozovic. Politano. Come on, man. Hey, what a nice goal. Shows how technical of a player he is. Very good from Politano. If I was an Inter fan, I would be happy with this goal. Just a light touch to send the ball to the left corner. I guess Berardi is going to be our sub for this season. Okay. Both Berl and Brozovic have yellow cards, so I'm going to sub. Uh, Sensi? I'm guessing Sensi is better. Easy to is a bit younger. So let's sub in Sensi for Barella. And then I'm actually going to put uh, Bastoni just to give him some some playing time. Because, uh, he's a wonder kid. He might grow up to be a, a first team player for us. And DiMarco as well, instead of Biragi. DeMar DeMarco, a couple of uh, FM games before, was a very, very good wonder kid. Not so much this one, though. Benassi to Pogar. Hmm, missed tackle there. And as soon as, as I subbed the re, that happened. Politano from the corner. Sensi again to Politano, good cross to Chiesa, and Chiesa scores on his debut. Very good, very nicely done. Sensi finds Politano on the right side, good cross, and Chiesa scores. Very happy with that. Lukaku and yeah, Lukaku scores by himself as 4-0 Okay, this is going better than I expected But this tactic should work very well with Inter. They have a very high uh, work rate team. So a gang and press should work pretty nicely for them. Pedro. And Andanojevic saves that. They've only had like four shots all the game. So our defense has been amazing. And this should be it for the game though. Unless Lukaku wants to score another one. Nope. And we won. Nearly 60% possession. 13 shots on target, 22 shots in total. Our best player was Lukaku, of course, two goals. But uh, Politano was pretty close. I mean, our front three scored, so I'm very, very happy with uh, with how the team played. And actually, I'm going to tell them. Assertive, very pleased with the result and your performance. And we should be first in the league. Yep, first. Juventus drew with, uh, with Atalanta. <laughs> so yeah, this will be it for that first episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.